Next up, I don't know how this project is still around. Ethereum Classic is hit by a third 51% attack in a month. If you know what a 51% attack is, essentially if you have control of 51% of the actual hash power or the network, you can reverse transactions, you can you know, mess up all the blocks, and you can you know do double transactions like it's nothing. So this just happened the third time again. So how can anybody put any kind of um, stock or any kind of confidence in this project? Just go away. So the attack, this is what happened. The attack reorganized over 7,000 blocks or two days worth of mining, according to a tweet shared by Bitfly. The first two attacks reorganized 36 and 4,000 blocks, respectively. Notably, a leading organization behind the Ethereum Classic Network, ETC Labs, announced its strategy to protect the network from additional attacks last week, including defensive mining that is intended to stabilize the network's plummeting hash rate and resist future 51 attacks. That worked out like a lead balloon. After the first two attacks, Exchange OKX responded by saying it will consider delisting the asset due to the network's severe lack of security. Coinbase also took drastic measures by extending deposit and withdrawal confirmation times for ETC to roughly two weeks. So here's the thing. If you're an exchange and you've done your due diligence and you put it on there, and now this thing happens three times in a, you know, a very short amount of time, why are you still listing it? Do you think like, oh, well, they're going to they're, they're, they're gonna fix it. They just try to fix it. They couldn't fix it. Get it off your exchange and get another asset that actually can do th something. Like for Coinbase, I don't know why you don't have Cardano on there. That's ridiculous. I mean, you've got a project that is in the top 10 and is doing a ton of great things and it has a mainnet launch and they're going to do it. It just, it, uh, it does infuriate me a little bit, but ETC and Bitcoin SV, no problem, even though they're worthless. So, that's all I can say. Lastly, cryptocurrency seems largely unaffected by the series of attacks trading at 6.86 at last check, less than 4% below its price during the second attack. I don't know where the volume comes from. Maybe it's bots. Don't know. Let me know what you think in the comments section. Let's move on.